Graham Hill sponsors Joshua versus Molina on Sky Sports Box Office. On the IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. I'm at West Ham Boys Club today. With me, I've got Sia Uzgul and trainer Barry Smith. Um, <clears throat> Sia, uh, 12 and 0 at the moment. Uh, I don't think we've had you on the channel before, but uh, he's making big noise. I know that a lot of people are talking about him because of the sparring he's been doing with certain people. Yeah, well, we've been going down to the Maxwell Gym, down to Tony Simpson's gym. He's been sparring with the likes of. Um, We've done a lot of rounds with um, Ricky Burns, Hara Davis, done a lot of rounds with Hara Davis. He's been sparring down there with the likes of Larry Akindeo, Philip Bowes, um, Anthony Upton. Um, and you? Um, yeah, I've, done a, I've been doing a bit with him, I've been getting bashed up by him. Um, who else is there? He's been sparring with um, and, um, John Wayne a bit, so yeah. So I, I, I spoke to O'Hara himself, Yeah. and he said that he's, he's a... A good little talent you got yeah, here. Yeah, great for great little fire. If you found a diamond in the rough, as they say, Val. I think I have, you know, because <laughs> the kiss is fearless. <laughs> if I but people don't think he's just a bang crash wallet fire. He comes under, he get he gets under fire. He's got great movement, you know. He, he can switch it up and go either way if you wanted to go there. He can do anything, you know. And people say he can't punch. Trust me, after the one he sparred with, can he punch? He can punch. I know Horace sparred a lot of people, and I mean, he don't tweet about a lot of them, but he has tweeted about it, so he said, like, yeah, he's a, yeah, listen, he's a good people kid. would have paid money to come down and watch that spa with him and Ahara, yeah? It was, it, 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 it was toe to toe, it was. You know, none of them did with a backward step. You know, it was full on, it was 100 miles an hour as well. So, obviously, see ya. Um, I know you're obviously not originally from like, England. Tur yeah. Whereabouts are you from? Turkey. And when, uh, what made you come over here? Uh, we come over it because um, what, what happened was he he was part of the the Turkish national team and the um, you know the professional boxer that really good in Turkey and so he, he's come over he's, he's hooked up with me and that's it you know but he's kind of a wicked amateur background as well Sonny he's got a really good amateur background how many times East End ball champion twenty five times three times ABA champion you know. He's boxing world championships, boxing everything he has, you know what I mean? You know? 25 times? It's 20, over, under the 15 amateur fights he had, yeah. you know? And in fact, and I think he only lost about 17 of them, you know? So he's coming off a good background as well. He found a good one, Bow. He found a good one. Yeah, very good fighter. Um, I know that he's been made va is it, uh, mandatory for the Southern Area yes. title at Lightwater. Yes. Um, Wrecking Noble, was meant, he was meant to fight Wrecking Noble, what's happening there? Yeah, I think he's vacated now, I think he's going on to bigger and better things. Oh, okay. You know, so that's up to him now to step in there. Um, I think it's Danny Parson we're fighting, I think it's Danny Parson, and I think we confirmed by the board, but he's the one who's called Sheer Osgood on that. So, Sheer wants that fight, yeah. And I think, obviously, Danny wants it because he's called Sheer at, so, yeah, so it's all lined up, you know, for a good fight. But you have to speak to see about what she's going to do, so I don't comment on things like that, you know what I mean? Okay, um, talking about amateur backgrounds and fighters you've got, you've got the Uptons here. Um, yes. Conor McGregor got his licence the other day, and it's been put in national papers that Paulie beat him as an amateur, and it's, it, it's been saying things, I mean, what, what do you make of that? Paulie's been saying things, I know. No, 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 people have been saying things, not Paulie. Oh, right, I don't know, I know nothing about that, to be honest. Nothing? No, nah, well, <coughs> well, the Uptons haven't mentioned nothing to me about it, you know? Because they're professional, they just get on with their work when they come here, you know what I mean? What do you make of the whole Conor McGregor trying to become a boxer? Well, if he steps in with Mayweather, oh, he's going to get himself, oh, come on. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's going into Mayweather's world. But if Mayweather went into his world, people would laugh at that, you know? Yeah. But again, if he was to get there, Mayweather, come on. It's ridiculous. It ain't even going to be a fight. It ain't, it ain't is it? He's going to get. He's going to get it when Mayweather decides what he wants to hit him. True. Yeah. What do you make of the whole uh, Bellew and Hay situation as well? I can't wait for that. What do you reckon? What way do you reckon it will go? Oh, come on. Da, da, David A. David A. That's my. That's just my opinion. It's David A. In four. In four. Yeah. God, that's a bit horrible. It is. Oh, no, no, that's just my opinion. Like I said, <laughs> it's just my opinion. But I've been down to Haymakers gym and I've seen him work. So I go down there with him with um, when he sparred down there with Cole Frampton and that. Yeah. So I've watched David A work. I've seen David A up and close working, you know, and I've seen what damage he's done in the ring to people when I've been down there watching spa. So for me, it's David. Fair enough. 
Fair enough. Who do you think is going to win? Uh, I don't know, I can't really watch the fight from the fence that I'm sitting on. Nah. Sitting on the fence and I've got to keep it partial. No, that's just my opinion. I don't really know disrespect to anybody, but it's just my opinion. Okay, that's fair enough then, Dan. Yeah. But obviously, it's all about Sia today. Uh, and mm. the, obviously, big future, hopefully, for him. I hope so. Mm. Alright then, Bal. Well, listen, <coughs> I'll let you crack on. I know you've got some yeah, boys out there waiting to do pads and that. But, um, see ya. Well done. Uh, yeah. Congratulations on getting your mandated fight and hope you, hopefully you win that. And then, no! Alright, thanks for the time, FLTV boys. See that, sounds like that.